Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. So I'm going to start my April haul today and I have a bunch of stuff here, but the stuff here at the top is from Erin Condren and I did a separate EC haul. So I'm gonna go through those real quick and then I will link the haul where I go through everything a little bit um, slower. I will link that down in the description. So first I got these paper tapes. Um, this is from the warehouse sale. Along with this, this is a repurchase from um, the teacher line and I loved this this year, so I wanted another one. This flare, so cute, again with the warehouse sale. And these last two things that I got in the warehouse sale are things, this is a repurchase because I loved it so much this year and the stickiness is perfect. And then this planning pack is just so stinking cute. I love it. All right, the other thing, or things, I should say, are these three. Um, so these three items were not in the warehouse sale. I bought them at full price, but I do love them. This is the um, one of the Wonder Woman journals. And this one is the one with the like um, productivity pages, I think is what they call them but they have different colors on on every page and I think this is a really cool option for like planning things out. Um, let's say you're planning a party, not now, but in the future, or you are just planning an event or you're brainstorming something, anything at all you could use this for. This would be great to like take to meetings because it has the little to-do list on the side. I think that's a good um, little just staple, you know, and then this one I've wanted for a very long time. This one has the daily productivity pages in it that are like, it's like the daily planner, but it's undated and it's much more simple, which I really prefer. And I think this is a great option for anybody who is wanting to use these off and on, you know, just whenever they feel the need. Um, but I really love the whole patterns and all, everything. I love everything about it. It's just so cute. And then this is my new petite planner and I will be setting this up very soon. It will be already up when you see this video, but I really love this color. It's so pretty. I don't remember what the color was called, but it is a really pretty purple. Okay, so now on to the regular shops that are not Erin Condren. So let's start with Virgo and Paper here because this is a little bitty order. She was having a very quick sale and she, I was uh, retiring some of these scripts and I wanted to grab them again. There's a little freebie. And then we have a little card there. So I bought this one last year and used it in my teacher planner and I wanna do the same next year. She said she was reformatting them. So I just don't know what they're gonna look like. If they're, it's gonna be the same script, but I really like this script. So I got some more meal prep ones. Some more film ones. I would love if those were just a teensy bit smaller. And the self care ones, those are the ones I use the most often. So I just grabbed them and they were cheap. So thank you to Virgo on Paper. All right, next up is Scribble Prince Co. So I got a kit called Salty Air. But the real reason for this order was because if you noticed in my last haul, close to the end, I had a kit. And I had bought the wrong um, glitter headers and boxes add-on. So I bought the right ones this time. So here are the ones that actually go with the kit that I bought. And then I saw this kit and I just never saw the sneaks for this or whatever. So when I saw this and the color scheme, I had to grab it. I just thought it was so beautiful. Um, I did get in my order this little silver freebie and this card with gold. Okay, so this is the salty air kit and I just think it's so pretty. I don't know how I missed this because I'm pretty like up on SPC. I just think the colors are so beautiful. And I think this will be really pretty like in June. Ooh, that bottom washi is pretty. So I just love this kit. I think it's beautiful. Um, I did just get mixed up with the um, these again. So these go with this kit, and these go with the um, kit that I actually bought. Um, so I will be putting these aside for that kit. But I just think this is really pretty, 
and I'm glad that I just happened to see it because otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. Okay, next up we have this kit from Glam Planner and I do not have a code with her shop anymore. She is, um, they may still work though, I don't know, but she is picking a new team. So uh, this is a mini kit and I added on a couple of things, so I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I don't know what this is called because she doesn't put the names on here, but it's cat themed and I just thought this was so adorable. The only boxes that I don't think I'll use is this one because the art kind of repeats, but I bought some extra boxes that I'll show you in a second to kind of fix that. I think that is so cute. I think this is going to be a good like stay at home kit too. Um, I'm filming this portion of the haul at the beginning of April and I'm sure that the orders will get extended for us to stay home. So I'm all about those stay home kits right now. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. The colors are really, really gorgeous. So then I added on, well, this came with the kit, I think. And I think I might sub in this arm. And then we have the extra boxes that I added on and the glitter headers because I really like her chunky glitter headers. And then I added on the, of course, the redheaded girl. I really love this one. And that one's super cute. And that one's cute. I just love this kit. I think it's really fun and it's good for spring too, but it's definitely good for this season of our lives. <laughs> so that is my kit from Glam Planner. And then we have, oh, I love this so much. Okay, she sneaked this. So I'm assuming this is no spoilers. And everyone's been posting in her Facebook group. So I think we're good. This is the four year anniversary kit from Helen from Coffee Monsters Co. I was lucky enough to get a ready to ship um, bundle and I'm just so blown away by this. I think it's so cute. It was very reasonably priced. And with everything that you got, I thought it was very thoughtful. Everything that she picked, I just thought it was just really, really well put together. And I just love everything that Helen does. She's kind of a rock star and she doesn't even know it. Maybe she does. I hope she does. Okay, if I can get this out of here, I'll show you everything. Come on. Okay, so let's start with what was in the pouch. So we have this little panda, um, what are we going to call this? A little dangle. I'm going to give this to my sister because she's like obsessed with pandas. And I just think it's really cute. And then these two washies are just so cute. This one is like the self-care one. I guess I could open this and roll it out for you. But her washies, I've never been able to get because they sell out really fast. I think she does pre-sales now though. So I might need to look into that. But I was really happy to get this one because I think it's so cute. Where's the end? There it is. Okay. And she said that it like is very long. Or is that the other one? I think it's the other one with the faces, but isn't this just so cute? I think this would be so fun to put in a journal or just any spread that's got some softer colors in it. So cute. And then this one just has some faces on it. I think this is one that's super long and it doesn't repeat until like a very long ways down the roll. This one is 10 millimeters. The other one is 15. Okay, so these are just a bunch of emoji heads. How cute is that? I just love that. They're all so different and have such different faces. I think it's so cute. I just love that. I have been like not into buying bundles lately just because nothing satisfies me. This does for the very, very most part. But most of the time, they just don't satisfy me because there's a bunch of stuff that I just don't want or won't use. But this one is different. Here's a little pencil, pencil pouch. It's a very large too. Like she put mild liners in here and they fit. So, and I've never had like a cute pencil pouch like this. I think this is adorable. And then let's get into the other goodies. So we've got a little die cut, little vinyl. We've got a little paper die cut. 
that's appropriate for now. I might need to put that aside for my folio setup. This is the March freebie. That's super cute. And then this little pocket, I might need to use this as well in my little folio. That's so cute. And then we've got another little vinyl here. But this one is like a, what are these called? I can't remember what they're called. But these like stick on stuff. I think that's cute. This might go on my um, planner cart. And then this is so cute. It says daily achievements, especially like right now. It's all like self-care things, but like right now this is super relevant. So cute. And then these little um, sticky notes. These would be perfect for like studying. I might take these for my teacher planner. I love that one. That's so cute. Let's test the sticky. It's not bad. It's not quite as good as like a super sticky post-it note, but like what is? That's pretty good. I like it. That's so cute. All right. So then we have some sheets here. So we've got the four year anniversary sampler. I actually ordered another one of these because I love the mixed sheets. I think they're so cute, but this one has so many good things on it. And I really love that. And then we've got the weekly emoji sampler, which is self care related. Super cute. And then we've got some holographic emoji heads can't really see these but maybe you can see them a little bit they're really cute and then we've got the card signed by sister tater oh that's cute this was all like self-care themed which i think is so appropriate and just totally on brand and adorable and then this is the self-care mini kit i think i'm going to use this in my memory planner i'm thinking just to kind of commemorate one of these weeks. So we've got um, eight full boxes here. We've got some, I need to order like her big kit because I think this would be so cute in my planner. And then we've got a little weekend banner. Oh, it's so cute. Bottom washing is just adorable. Little checklist. And then this is the last page with a bunch of functional things on it. It's so adorable. I'm so glad that I got this. I kind of went back and forth because again, I'm like not big on the bundles. I've been burned a couple times. Also, I'm picky. So, but this, this is just perfection. I think it is so cute. And the whole thing was like $37 for like everything, which is like such a steal. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I love everything. So I will be back in a second to show you some more. So for this section of the haul, I have four shops here and they're so cute. I'm so excited for all of these things. So let's start with the Crafty Banana. I mean, you knew seeing the black envelope. So these go with the Gilmore Girls uh, Winter Collection, which I'll be using next year because winter is practically over. Well, it is over for her where I live. Um, this is my old winter freebie. There's a new spring one. I'll show you that in person as soon as I get it. But I do have the mock-up on my Instagram if you want to see. So this is the little freebie that came with this. And this, I'm like obsessed with the little tiny sticker sheet. It's so cute. So I got two of each of these. So we have the white um, Luke's. These are going to be so fun next winter and really even any time of the year because they're white. And then we have the grayscale coffee cups, which are gorgeous. And again, you can use these any time of the year. These are so cool. She has the new spring ones out right now. They will be down by the time that this video is up. But I always post on my stories when she's coming out with new coffee cups. And you can sign up for her newsletter as well. And you will get all the news. But... This is so cute. I love them so much. All right, next up is the Coffee Monsters Co. So this order was made at the same time as the anniversary box, which you saw in the last segment. And this came like two days after um, my box came. 
so happy about that box. It was so cute. I guess it wasn't really a box. It was a bundle. Let me get this out of here. Come on. There we go. So this is the March Freebie. So cute. All right. And then we've got this card. Adorable. And then we've got, um, some of these are new to me and some are repurchases. This is definitely a repurchase. I go through, <laughs> I think this is my third sheet already of these. I've had a lot of time to work in my yard and I need some more. Then we've got the canceled and rescheduled. These are perfect. So you've got the canceled and they're rescheduled here. And these are just awesome for right now. And then we have the Netflix emojis. These are so cute. I've been watching a lot of Netflix. I mean, haven't we all? Then the four-year sampler, which I didn't realize. I made this order before the box, and I didn't realize that this was in the box. But I already have two of each of the anniversary samplers anyway. So I have a second one, and I don't even care. These are so adorable. I have a full sheet of those and those. Um, What else? I have the unplug ones. I just love these samplers. They're so cute. I've got one of those too. These are just, if you're going to make your first purchase, just buy all the anniversary sheets to try them out and you will not be sorry. I love these so much. Okay. We've got the so dang excited. How cute are those? Love those. And then these I thought were just fun, like collectors items almost. These are the vintage emojis. So these are like the very first ones that she put out. So we've got the happy ones over here and the sad ones over here. And these are really just nostalgic and not, I don't even know if I'll use them. They're just so cute and they give me like good vibes. So I just wanted to get these for collector's sake, I guess. So that is everything from Coffee Monsters Co. And then let's go to Scribble Prince Co. I already put everything in one cellophane. This came with my order. I'll have to give that to my sister. All right. So this was the little freebie that came with my order. It's silver foiled. Okay. So this is the kit that I was talking about in my last haul where I got like oops sheets of, but I didn't know what the kit was and it wasn't released yet. And then I saw it on the new releases video and I was like, I got to get this kit. So I did buy the ultimate kit. This is the K kit and it is obviously inspired by Kirsten of Kirsten Plans who also works for SBC if you didn't know. But there are a couple things I'm going to have to omit. So that's why I got the ultimate kit and I have a couple other reasons why. It was not like a, a spur of the moment thing. First of all, I love the colors in this so much. This is going to be one of those like um, at home kits that I'll be using in the next couple of weeks. I will be leaving this one out. I mean, there's a lot of like family stuff going on in here, but for the most part, like I can still use pretty much everything. So one of the reasons why I got the ultimate was these two extra boxes that I can sub in for some of these more like family boxes, like this one and maybe this one, I don't know. But I have some choices here because I got the ultimate. And this is in the new style, I believe, because this looks totally different. We've got a lot of boxes here. This is the same. This is the same. I haven't had an ultimate kit in a very long time. I'm always a mini girl. So this is the sheet that I was looking at and I kind of got a little sneak peek in my oops bag. I think that bottom washi is so cool. So I added onto the kit just the glitter headers because I knew that I would have plenty of boxes in this kit itself. I'm just really excited to use this for my little stay at home kind of uh, whatever we're doing right now. And this came in there as well as a little freebie. So I just love this kit. It's called K and it's adorable. And then last but not least for this section is Sadie's stickers. So this is kind of like has a special place because Marfa, I live in West Texas, I live in Amarillo, but I grew up in Abilene and I lived in Midland for a while. So West Texas is like near and dear to my heart and Marfa is deep West Texas and I've always wanted to go. I've been through there, but I've never stopped. And 
it's kind of expensive to stay there because it's an art colony but she came out with these because they're very like on trend with a lot of um art and fashion right now and I just love these I think they're so cute but this is based on the um there's like an art installation in Marfa you can look it up just look up like Marfa art and you'll find it but I just got these because it just makes me happy and then this is a beautiful kit called Desert Days so here is a this looks like blue hollow or just blue I don't know cool and then this is my current freebie from Sadie stickers it's on clear paper with gold and then this is the kit it has rose gold foil it is so beautiful it looks to me like New Mexico or Arizona it's just very cool looking or even like deep west Texas oh it's so pretty I love the neutral colors and this type of foiling you know is like my fave it's so beautiful we've got some boxes and functional things on this page got a bunch of headers up there checklists more boxes and this last page like how cool is that pattern on the bottom washi Ooh, I love it and then we've got the date covers which are beautiful love it. so I just love this kit I think it's gonna be really pretty in the summertime so beautiful I hope that I can maybe go um, on a little vacation to New Mexico this summer if we're allowed I would love that because New Mexico is like one of my favorite places ever. But that is everything for this part of the haul. I will be back in a second to show you some more. So for the next part of the haul, I have, let's see, five shops. And I'm really excited about this one in particular because it has something that I've been kind of looking for. So let's start with that. Okay. Once More With Love was having a release of just some fun things. And then I also picked up a couple of things that I am repurchasing slash wanted for a while. So first of all, this die cut is the cutest. <laughs> I love it. And I need to put it into my EC Folio setup. I think that is just adorable. And then this is the April freebie, which is timely, I think. And then here's the card that came with the order. Okay. So here's what I ordered and I already mixed them up because I just wanted to go through them. Okay, so first of all, I got the grandparents one because I've always wanted these and I wanna call my grandparents more during this time, just check in with them and stuff. So I got those, I, they're so cute. And then I got the busy work day because we just got word yesterday when I'm filming this that um, Texas schools are closed physically for the rest of the school year and possibly a summer as well. So working from home, I thought these would be good for that. This is the staying in bucket list. I really like this and I got it particularly for my memory planner just so that I can kind of document some of the things during this time so that when I look back, I have a good view of it. Plus I have a cute sticker to go with it. So here is the computer conference call. We are doing a lot of Zoom calls lately. So I got these for that. And then we have the online learning, which is the little teacher ones. Specifically, I wanna use these to mark um, school. So I think between these two, I should be able to have enough for the rest of the school year. I wanna use these to mark that. So um, I don't list anything in my um, everyday planner when it comes to school stuff. I just mark that I am working on school stuff. So I thought these would be cute for that. Then I've got the film edit upload. I'm always looking for more YouTube stickers and these are adorable and they're a good size. I have Y Life because we're just feeling all of the emotions right now and these are definitely some of them. And then this is a repurchase, the birthday ones. I always, I think this is like my fourth sheet of those. This is another repurchase. I love this one so much for like when I'm visiting my sister or hanging out with friends or whatever. And then we've got, I'm so mad. And that kind of goes with the why life ones. Just like angry about stuff. I was really looking for the sad ones, but I couldn't find those for some reason. And then I also got this sticker book. Now, was it last month or the month before that I shared the Once More With Love Michaels sticker books? 
So I have these two. Don't get these. Don't. Just don't. The paper sucks. And your stickers will stay on there and they will never come off. I've actually ripped the page on this one trying to get stickers off. These are stuck forever. Um, I am going to, it's going to take me a long time, but I'm going to move everything into this one because I've heard it's much better, but I'm going to have to undo all of the stickers that I put in here because I am dumb and I didn't listen to people. I was like, maybe I'll be different. No, I'm not different. These suck. Don't use them. This one is from the website. This one is supposed to be much, much, much better. So I'm really excited. Even, even feels a little bit different from what is in the Michaels one. Are we supposed to use both sides? I think so. I'm going to have to test it out and see if I like it. But I don't want to, like, I have so many stickers in those other two. And I'm just, it's going to take a while. Anyway, this is the one I'm going to try next. <laughs> the one I ordered off Amazon is fine. It's just like got full and messy and I just wanted to start over. So that's why I ordered another one of these to kind of fix this whole situation. It's a lot. Okay, let's go to Sticky Essentials. So this is a stay at home kit. I got several stay at home kits to kind of get me through the next couple of weeks. This one is called Home and I really like this artwork but I like her color scheme that she went with for this. So these are the full boxes. Now there's a couple of them that I will not use. So this one, I don't think I will use. I don't know. This one, I am, I do have Disney Plus right now, but I don't watch it. I just, it's not for me. And then this one also, not for me. I like the little paint though. I think that's really cute. Um, this one is kind of kid related, but I could probably make it work. Now, over here, though, I got some extra boxes, and these, I will definitely use, like, all of these. I think they're really cute, and they will replace some of these that will not work for me. Okay, so, I just love the colors in this, and the patterns are really cute, and I like her kit format. It's really good, and her paper is very nice. It's like Caress Press paper, and Caress Press is back, if I haven't mentioned that already. Um, I haven't ordered yet. Because nothing has really struck my fancy, but I will for sure. And there's an extra full box over here. I like that she does like another full box and not like a pattern one like the SPC kits. I think that's really cool to offer that in the mini kit format. And then here is the glitter sampler. Okay, so that is the home kit from Sticky Essentials. And then we have some Scribble Prints Co. This is another home kit. It's called Relax, I think, yes. So this is a mini kit and it came with this extra box. I didn't add this on, which I thought was cool. I will use this for sure. It is a tall box, which I don't normally use, but I'm thinking I'm going to use this in my memory planner and I can make use of a tall box in my memory planner. I just love the artwork in this. This is Kittenish Jess, of course, and it's just so cute. And again, I like the color scheme of this. I think it's really cool. It's just the artwork is so cute. I am getting really, really tired of people talking about Animal Crossing, though. Mm, it's just, it's too much. You know, the planner community, it has its obsessions. And I have definitely been drawn into the obsessions. So I can't talk about it, but Animal Crossing, it's just, it's too much right now. I know it'll die down, but whatever. Okay, so that was my mini kit. And then I also added on... And here, get my receipt out of the way. Okay, so we got this little card here, and then we have this little holographic. Um, you can barely see that. There we go. And then I added on the glitter headers and extra boxes too. So this is probably going to go in my memory planner, but I'm not for sure. I'm kind of shifting some stuff around that, you know. I mean, those are the times we live in right now. We are adapting as we go. Okay, so that was Scribble Prints Co. And then next is Creating in Co. I thought this was so cute. And again, it's another like kind of at home kit. Although this one I think would be really cute, kind of closer to the fall. There's a little card. It's called Bibliophile, I think. I'm pretty sure. 
but I just thought this was cute. I've been reading a lot more and I really like the colors and the quotes are cute. That is adorable. And she includes a lot of deco and really good functional deco as well. And then we've got the boxes and checklists and then the bottom washi. I thought these patterns were really cool too. And I like the font that she uses. It's kind of fun. So this kit, again, is Bibliophile from Creating Co. And then last for this part of the haul is my Crafty Banana order. And I'm so excited for this because I have my new spring sampler to show you. My spring freebie. Okay, let me get all this stuff kind of down. Okay, here we go. And I've got the other girls to show you as well. All right, this is so cute, y'all. I She lets us design it and then she puts everything together. And I mean, we don't design it. We just choose the elements and then she puts it together and sizes everything. And like, how cute is my freebie? It's just adorable. And I think like every time now I'm gonna have a little a tiny coffee cup sheet because I think those are just the cutest. But she gave me a couple of mine and then here are the other girls. So this is Kristen's, very floral, and she has a little floral Ford, Florida. I think that's so cute. We all have our state on ours this time. And then this is Rochelle's from Plain Princess, and her Texas is like a teal color. I think that's so cute. I love all of ours. Mine, I specifically wanted to go for a coral and pink theme because I usually don't do pink, but I thought with spring, and I was just kind of drawn to these two candles and then I was drawn to this and all the colors in here and just kind of went with the pink and peach theme. So if you want my freebie, just put my, use my code Taylor. You can get 10% off and you can get my little freebie. So cute. All right, also in this order, I got my spring candles. So these are the spring in the air candles. They come in two sizes. I love both sizes depending on if I'm using a half box or a quarter box, this size is really versatile. So there are just so many colors and just so pretty. I love these. Okay, and then here's my kit. Now this is a new kit format. This is kit three. So before this, we had the scene kit and we had the regular kit. This is a hybrid kit and it's really cool and I'm really excited to use this. I'm actually using it next week. Um, so you will probably maybe see this like the same week that this haul goes up. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. So this is the scene, but it is shorter. I just love this. I think it's so cool. And I'm so excited to try this out. So we've got a full box here. You've got the little strips between to keep the scene seamless. You've got the checklist. This is the full kit, by the way. Oh my gosh. The deco is so cute. I'm gonna have to use this across the top, I think. And oh, I love these boxes. I used this kit last year and I used the scene kit. So I'm really excited to try the hybrid to see if I like it. Oh, the checklists are so cute. This kit is huge. You could definitely use it over two weeks if you'd like. Here is the bottom washi. So I don't know. I'm just gonna have to experiment with this. I don't know what I want to do. If I want to just leave the bottom washi out, I don't know yet. I really don't know. I'm just going to have to experiment with it. Now, I also added on, here's the little freebie that comes with the kit. It's so cute. I love that. And then I got extra boxes. I'm not sure if I will even need these, but I like the squared boxes. This is a new um, boxes sampler. It's squares, which I like, or squared off boxes. I like that a lot. I added on the girl because I think she's so cool and her hair is just beautiful. And then I have the glitter sampler. This is a new version of this as well. You've got the squared off boxes and you've got labels now. So I think that's cool. All right. I really, really am like thinking about how I'm going to use this kit and I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what this, how, like how it turns out. It's going to be cool. I love this one too. It's so cute. Okay. Anyway. That's all for this part of the haul. I will be back for one more little segment and then we will wrap it up. So before we get into the last part of the haul, I do have a 
it's a big stack of Erin Condren stuff and some of it was sent to me and some of it I bought but I have reviews on all of my teacher planner stuff so I've got some covers these were the gifts that came with it and then I've got sticky notes this really cool sticker book and my planner my teacher planner I've got my review up for that I will link that down below I also got these in that order and then these were sent to me so I got the new layers sticker book some note or uh, sticky notes I've got this dashboard here the pen which is gorgeous some sticker sheets and of course my new life planner so again I will leave the reviews for these I'm not gonna go through them in this haul but those are down there if you want to check them out so this is gonna be the last section of the haul and I only have three shops here but I love everything that I got so let's start with shop Jessica hearts I have my June monthly kit it's so cute here's a little freebie that came with it and it's called Ariel I didn't get it because it's like princess themed because that's not my thing but I really love the colors and the redheaded girl I love a redhead in a kit and I just like the scenery and stuff it's just so cute like oh, I love it all right, so this is the first page here. And then we've got a bunch of labels on this page. I decided not to go for a foiled kit this time, just to mix it up. And because I didn't really think that it needed foil. So that is the four page monthly kit called Ariel. It's so cute. I really like it. All right, and then Let's go to Glam Planner. So this one is so cute. I think it was called Tiny House. If you don't know, I have a Tiny House obsession and I got the mini kit, isn't that funny? <laughs> but I just love this. When am I gonna use it? I don't know. What am I gonna use it for? I don't know. Probably in my memory planner because I can't think of another time to use it. Oh, I got two of those. Did I order two of these? I don't think so. Anyway, I think I ordered the extra boxes. Um, oh well. Okay, so we've got the full boxes here. So cute. I love the colors in this too and the little kitty that's popping out. I hope to one day live in a tiny house. My long-term goal is just to keep downsizing and eventually get there. But it's just so cute. And then we've got the the like functional stuff on this page and another functional page here and then look at all of the cute deco adorable got some scripts and then here is the washi page and date covers so cute and then I added on look another reddit girl um I wanted to include these because I just thought they give the kit a little something extra and then apparently I have two of these I probably did order two because that has been known to happen okay so that is my order from glam planner and then I have my July 4th kit I'm not sure which planner I'm gonna use this in but this is going to be one of my July 4th kits there's the little card that came with it and then there's a little freebie in silver okay so this one is called freedom and I really like the colors in this if you notice the blue has like a purple tinge to it and I just think it's kind of cool and different and the red has like a pink tinge to it this is so cute <laughs> I love this art I think it's adorable and it's like totally my vibe I love it so much and we got some deco cute little weekend banner I love the plaids functional page boxes that's so cute more patterns that is adorable I love this and then I added on the well the munchkin heads came with it and then I added on the extra boxes and the glitter headers so this will probably be in my main planner unless something comes along and just like totally blows my socks off but I don't think it will I think this is gonna be it so adorable all right, that is everything for this haul. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. And if you were wondering about any of the shops, they're all listed 
down in the description along with direct links and any coupon codes that I may have. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, feel free to ask down below. But I hope that you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!